Uh, hello everyone. I uh, wanted to complete my World Cup history slowly. I wanted to uh, post the 2015 World Cup now. Uh, the 2015 World Cup was held in Australia and New Zealand the second time after that 1992 World Cup. And there were 14 teams in this World Cup. And it was also a quarterfinals uh, stage that was after the group stage. And uh, it's actually surprising in a way because uh, New Zealand and India topped both groups. Uh, both were unbeaten. New Zealand winning six out of six, India winning six out of six. Uh, both match, uh, both teams unbeaten in the group stages. A few um, and before that, I mean, uh, Martin Kaptil, uh, 547 runs. He was the top scorer of that uh, tournament in that quarterfinals against uh, West Indies. He he got a, a double century, 237 runs. And he got 547 runs in the World Cup, a top scorer. And the uh, top wicket takers were tied between Mitchell Stark and uh, Trent Bolt. Both got 22 wickets. Third time happening in the World Cup where two bowlers tied. And Mitchell, uh, Ma, uh, sorry, Mitchell Stark was the man of the series. I mean, two left armers, Trent Bolt and Mitchell Stark, top wicket takers, getting a lot of wickets in that World Cup. Obviously, Australia and New Zealand's conditions, uh, ball swings, moves around. So, I suspected both of them getting a lot of wickets. Uh, New Zealand, one notable, a few notable uh, uh, matches uh, in the group stages. Australia were beaten by New Zealand by just uh, one wicket in that match. Uh, by batting first, Australia only got around 151 runs. Uh, Trent Bolt getting five wickets, and batting second, uh, Brendan McCallum got a 50. Uh, but then Stark started bowling well in that second spot, and Mitchell Stark took six wickets in that on that day. And then Kane Williamson, I think he scored 45 or 46 not out. And Kane Williamson getting a 6 towards the end. Uh, and Australia, New Zealand winning just by one wicket with lots of overs to spare. That So that was a very uh, thrilling match, uh, low-scoring thriller in that group stage. And uh, just to mention, I mean, this World Cup was the World Cup played just after Phil Hughes' incident where he died after hit, the ball hit him on, on the helmet. And I, I mean, personally speaking, I was certain that Australia would win this World Cup. Australia always give their best, but I knew they would give a special performance for Phil Hughes, especially Michael Clark being the captain who was very close to Phil Hughes, who also retired in cricket, from cricket after the World Cup, and especially after that Phil Hughes incident. Australia, I knew they would give their best uh, out performances, and they did that, especially in the knockouts as well. And Ireland uh, beat West Indies is one of the group matches. Uh, West Indies got around 302 batting first. Uh, Lendl Simmons got 100. But batting second, uh, Netherlands, uh, Ireland won by three or four wickets. Uh, Paul Sterling got 92 that day. He was a man of the match. And in another match, uh, South Africa against West Indies. South Africa scored more than 400 and, uh, 408, I think. That's the day when A.P. De Villiers coming to bat at number five. He scored... 166, uh, 162 of just 66 balls. He really murdered the West Indian bowling. And South Africa won by 240 something runs, I think. One of the biggest margin of victories in the World Cup. De Villiers was in uh, absolute devastating form that day. And uh, uh, Australia and uh, New Zealand uh, did beat uh, England in one of the group stages quite comfortably, bowling out uh, England for just 123 runs. Tim Southey, the opening bowler for New Zealand, took seven wickets that day. And uh, Australia beat England in the group stage. I've mentioned about this match once. Australia won by 111 runs. Uh, batting first, Aaron Finch got a big 130-odd. And Australia winning that match. And India beat uh, Pakistan in that match at Adelaide where Virat Kohli got 100. And Shamik took four wickets. India beating Pakistan again in a World Cup match. And India-South Africa, it was at Melbourne. The crowd was massive. Uh, Shikhar Dhawan got 137, I think, and India posted a very good total and South Africa were beaten. I uh, mentioned it in one of my videos, A.B. De Villiers getting run out uh, at a close uh, time. Even David Miller was run out. Uh, and India, I uh, mentioned already that India were unbeaten in the group stage. And there was another match where Sri Lanka beat uh, England by nine wickets. I mean, so in batting first, England got 300 plus, Joe Root got 100, but Sang well, Sri Lanka batting second, uh, Thirumane, Lehiru Thirumane and Sangakara both getting hundreds. A big partnership there and winning by uh, nine wickets, scoring like 312 runs. So that was a key moment. And there was another match where it was a World Cup record until this uh, World Cup where it was broken. Afghanistan versus Australia. Australia batting first scored 418. 
David Warner got a 183 runs a massive score there and Australia beating Afghanistan by a huge margin 275 runs that was a world cup winning uh, margin of victory record until this world cup it was broken and uh, into the semi finals uh, it uh, the quarter finals it was india versus bangladesh india beat bangladesh comfortably australia beat pakistan comfortably and uh, south africa and sri lanka i was just mentioning yesterday about the group stages i had a feeling that south africa had one one knockout match i wasn't really sure about and it was this match uh, remember sri lanka batting first over bowled out for 133 runs imran tahir took uh, four wickets and even jp dumuni who is a part time spinner took three wickets the ball turning seven wickets for spinners and south africa knocking off the runs uh, Uh, winning by nine wickets and getting into the uh, semi finals the first knockout match ever said south africa won in the world cup and then uh, new zealand and uh, west indies uh, were the uh, quarter finals the other court the last quarter final way uh, i have already mentioned martin guptill got 237 runs a double hundred uh, in a quarter finals a rare event and then uh, that so eventually australia pa- australia india new zealand and sri lanka all may uh, and sorry south africa all making it into the semi finals and in the first uh, one semi final i said uh, about that match a few times south africa against new zealand uh, new zealand did uh, uh, south africa batted well but it was a duckworth lewis method system and new zealand had to cho- chase 299 in just 4 to 3 overs uh, new zealand uh, winning just by one ball with one ball to spare uh, grand early at the south african born uh, getting a lot of runs hitting Dale Stain for a six of the second last uh, ball, and then uh, it was uh, in your Aus- Australia versus India. Australia versus India uh, was the other uh, semi final, and batting first, Australia. Stephen Smith got a hundred, and uh, Australia got three hundred and twenty-eight, which is a good total. And batting second, India had a decent start. Rohit Sharma and Shikhar Dhawan, but then wickets fall, and Virat Kohli got out for I think zero one, trying to hook uh, Mitchell Johnson, uh, and that was a key moment. And uh, India started losing wickets, and uh, Dhoni got sixty five runs to his end, but India were really beaten. India losing by ninety five runs after those wickets uh, at the top. and australia had an amazing bowling attack in that world cup i mean uh, obviously mitchell stark was in excellent form and the great mitchell johnson was already uh, was also playing in that team uh, so they had an amazing pace attack in that world cup and in the finals uh, new zealand and australia met uh, and uh, new zealand were bowled out cheaply i mean mitchell stark i mean bowled uh, brendan mackellum who was the danger man especially after that semi final where he really had a quick fire knock against south africa in that much needed uh, match uh, with a high run rate uh, in the finals uh, mitchell stark bowled uh, uh, brendan mackellum with an absolute beauty a yorker and that changed the match totally and uh, new zealand getting all, getting bowled out for a cheap total and uh, australia batting second one by three wickets uh, Ma- Ma- michael clark who was a captain he got 74 runs in that finals and australia winning that world cup uh, i was expecting that all the way through even before the world cup after that phil hughes incident it was a very emotional world cup for australia everyone was so close to phil hughes and they really wanted to win it just for uh, phil hughes uh, and i mean there was an uh, incident where maxwell after that 2015 world cup he was being interviewed and sachin tendulkar walked past and maxwell stopped the interview and ran to sachin tendulkar and gave him a hug uh, shows how much respect maxwell has for tendulkar and for the game so australia having an excellent uh, world cup except that one match against new zealand where australia lost in the group stage which uh, where trent bolt took six wickets and australia were bowled out for 151 but even that match australia showed their power by bowling second mitchell stark takes took six six wickets and uh, new zealand just getting over the line with one wicket in that group stage so that's only match australia lost in that uh, world cup but come came back very strong in that finals against new zealand and uh, so semis and finals uh, australia put up big performances uh, in that world cup a uh, spare of thought for new zealand and india who were unbeaten in the group stages so new zealand even in the 92 world cup were excellent in the group stage but lost in the semis 
uh, but today the this world cup they did made it into the finals uh, india gave a lot of expectations the way they played but india were blown out by australia in that uh, semi finals anyway thank you for joining in i hope you enjoyed and relive some of the moments from 2015 take care god bless you